Oh boy, what a day. So, there's not many people that dig into the Bible probably as much as I do in a day in my work. And there's a lot of people that we know in the world that are unbelievers. Today, I had multiple people coming to me talking about this Israeli Space Force or space agency guy coming out talking about the aliens working with the governments of U.S. and Israel. Multiple people. Now, that means that it's going around the podcast, it's getting on little, you know, web webinars and stuff. The government's not talking about it. They're still COVID, 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 COVID. So, there again, the systems that are of this world have to be brought down if they're going to bring a new world order. Now, there again, like I said, if the Albert Pike letters need to bring atheists out of atheism, they need something supernatural. Otherwise, what are they supposed to believe in? And if they don't believe in God, and these guys are trying to get them not to believe in Adonai, but into their religion, well, then you need something to come. But there again, if the Greek gods of old, if the Babylonian gods of old, if the Egyptian gods of old that battled it out between themselves are now coming back to, you know, another time, but they're repackaged as something else. It's a new wrapper on the same product. And that's the thing that people have to take in. If you're waiting for possibly even Donald Trump, you know, a lot of people are talking that. I'm not saying that. I'm not going to say that until I have enough evidence to me to say that, look, there he is. That's what he's doing. You can't promote that kind of thing because everybody was talking about Obama doing the same thing just before that. But there again, the dragon is giving power to the beast. What if the beast is these ancients, you know, that he has promised power to? Why does it have to be a man on this earth? If they bring it out as an alien, what if he's wearing a mask? You can't see his face, just like the old ancient Egyptians. They all had helmets and they were dog faces and birds and, and all these other things, right? Lion heads, the sphinx and all that. They're mixed. Not saying that they, you know, that's what's coming, but at the same time, I mean, there, there's a lot to take in and we don't have a full on answer. You know, there's a lot that's got to still be revealed, I believe. We're getting a greater picture, but I'm not saying that it's going to be aliens, but it seems like it's been in the works for at least a good 50 years. You know, to get the public slowly into the idea with space agencies all around the world, you know, that talk about we're going to space yet, you know, they haven't done anything. They haven't done a single thing with space agencies. All they do is they take millions and billions of dollars and, and bring back nothing other than some pretty pictures of the universe. They don't go off to the moon and do missions like they did back in the 70s. There's a reason for that. Because they were deceived back then, but now they got too much technology and people are way too smart. I don't think they could pull it off like they used to. They'd be better off just saying they were going to the bottom of the ocean because we found a black hole. Guess what? You guys can't go there. Then. The, there's there's just so much that's going on in this deceptive tool that they are rolling out onto the people and like on point preparedness talks about there's a great reset crowd and there's a great awakening and there's two sides and those two sides are probably going to battle it out and what's going to probably win is going to be the great awakening and they're going to say look the power of our god took down the evil empires of the man you know and look now we have this to show you guys. Bring, Israel's talking about they, they were in contact with their Messiah, but they haven't revealed him yet because the world's not ready or we're not ready. Something to that effect. Okay, now look at this guy, this 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 speak in this uh, this guy's letter that he wrote. You know about the alien agencies and all that, the the Galactic Federation. So what are they looking for? Oh, well, they're waiting for a calmer time to reveal that when man is ready, so that way they can get a full and better understanding of space and spaceships. Well, 
We have space agencies that have taught us all these things. Why would we need further understanding of space? Oh, because they're not coming from the planet Zarkon a billion light years away. No, they're coming through a dimensional. Dimensional, just like that pillar I showed from St. John's Cathedral with that weird head popping through the birthing, you know? That is what they're waiting for. It's not gonna come as a natural birth. It's going to come another way. You know, and that's how this Antichrist system is going to be revealed. You know, because that, that's the way they have it all portrayed in their thing. They're waiting for something to pop through some sort of a, a veil. And anyway, so the long story short is that there is definitely something coming. And whether it be man, whether it be something else, that is going to remain to be seen. So just a word to the wise guys.